In this video, we are going to create our own REST API using a modern web framework used for building APIs, and it's actually a micro framework like Flask. When you deploy a Flask application, you use a WSGI or Web Server Gateway Interface container like GUnicorn, uWSGI, and others. Unlike Flask, Fast API is an ASCII or Asynchronous Server Gateway Interface, but more on that later. Fast API is equally good as Node.js. It's one of the fastest Python-based web frameworks. The most famous are Django and Flask, but there are others like Bottle, TurboGears, and CherryPie, to name a few. This is the official website for Fast API. You can see here what to do to install Fast API and UVCorn, with some examples how to run your application, and so on. Also, let me show you on GitHub. As you can see, 22.9k stars, 1.6k forks. Also, the documentation, you will find it down below with everything you're going to need in order to create your own application or your REST API. You also can see that Fast API is maintained by 205 contributors. Some of the features of Fast API is high performance than many web frameworks. It's even faster than Node.js, which is a runtime for JavaScript work on the back end. Easy to develop APIs. Also, the documentation is very well written. And using the Fast API, you will avoid the redundancy of code. All right, so let's go ahead and install Fast API via pip install Fast API. Unlike Flask, Fast API does not have a built-in development server, so we will need ASCII or Asynchronous Server Gateway Interface, which is a server that's intended to provide a standard interface between Python web servers, frameworks, and applications. UVCorn is an ASCII server implementation that provides support for HTTP2 and WebSockets, so I will go ahead and install that via pip install UVCorn. All right, let's go ahead and create a file. We will call it main.py. So what we want to do is we want to import fast API. So from fast API with small letters, we want to import fast with F capital API, also capital letters. Then we want to create our app object. So we will say app equal to fast API, open close parentheses like that. It's very similar to Flask if you're familiar with Flask micro framework, but instead we would say app equal to Flask underscore underscore name underscore underscore. All right. Next, what we want to do, we will create a decorator. We will say at app dot get open parentheses, open double quotes and slash. And here we are creating a route. When you just enter forward slash, you will be directed to what comes next. So next, we will create a function. We will call it example, open close parentheses, colon, and we want to return JSON data. And JSON is an abbreviation for JavaScript object notation. It's just a simple piece of data under the format of key value pairs. So this is what we will return. We will open close curly braces, and let's say for instance, fast API, column and the value for that. So on the left side of the column is the key and on the right side of the column is the value. So we'll write something like modern web framework, the fastest modern web framework. And this is what we want to get on our local host when we enter our local host on port 8000 forward slash and we will hit enter. We should get this JSON data or our REST API. All right, at the end, we will say if name equal to main, we want to trigger the uvcorn dot run, and we want to run the app. So the main file, colon, app. In order to run this file, we just can't say python main.py. Instead, we have a different command for that. So let's go to our terminal 
and what we will type is UV corn space main colon app space hyphen hyphen reload. And let me just close this and make the terminal bigger for you to see and check it out when we'll hit enter. So we have our port 8000 is listening. All right, so let's go to our web browser, our Google Chrome, and we'll type 127.0.0.1 colon 8000 and enter. And there you go. We can see the first line in our REST API. And certainly we can do more than that. So let's say for instance that we want to create another decorator, so app.get, and we want our route, not only the slash, but let's just say greetings. So let's define another function. We will say def greetings, and we want to return hello to my new REST API. It's just a string not in a form of key value pairs. So when we will go back here, and certainly if we will do like this, just a slash, we will get this. And by the way, if we will make slash docs, and let me show you this very quickly, we'll click on get, you can see here that it's application slash JSON, which is the media type. We have our second function or second decorator. We'll click on get. We have 200 here, which is the HTTP response. It means that everything's okay. Successful response. If we want to get the greetings, so 127.0.0.1 colon 8000 slash greetings. And we get hello to my new REST API. So you can create your own REST API certainly here. Um, if we will do the same thing, let me copy that. Name one, for instance, back. Name two, George. Name three, Samuel. And we will change the route and we'll say names. If we'll get back to our browser and we will change the route from greetings to names, we should get our REST API. So it's very easy and very fast to create any API that you want using fast API really. So this was how to create a REST API using fast API. I hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next videos.